Ê, tôi không nghe được gì hết Mẹ này có thơ Có ăn nào ấy Vô á, vô vô á Ok, so, uh, good day Uh, doctor and my friends and uh, today and we are going to present our uh, third presentation for our project mm -hmm. and for my team we have a member which me uh, Tanjinren, uh, Jinke, Jipong and also Meiji and our project title is uh, blockchain which is authentication and what we are going to do for this project and we, uh, we take the paper from Uh, online and we find that a uh, blockchain uh, the example from the blockchain is a smart home system and uh, and their solution the main solution to solve the problem which is the is, is the using the authentication and in this the third presentation we are going to show uh, which algorithm uh, has been proposed by the paper and We are going to suggest uh, what is the limitation we uh, think of, and that, or there might be any happen uh, the, to the system proposed. Yeah, next. So, uh, in this paper, they uh, may, uh, mainly are proposing the public key, public key encryption, we are, which are, uh, we learned before in our lecture and. So uh, basically, in the this public key encryption is to ensure the confidentiality of the message trans transmitted, and they also suggested to use the elective curve integrated encryption scheme, which is known as ECIES for the implementation for the smart home system as it used the symmetric uh, cryptography primitive, which help to maintain the confidential confidentiality of the plain text which like want to overcome uh, the weakness for the public key encryption and also uh, message authentication code MAC MAC2 is to maintain the authenticity of the cipher text and for the ECIS which uh, they have include four mainly four algorithm which is uh, PPG public parameter generation K KGen which is key generation algorithm ENC, which is encryption, and DEC is the decryption algorithm. So, yeah, next. So, uh, in the first two, I'm going to describe the PPG, the public key algorithm. Uh, this is mainly uh, given a security parameter, which is lambda, or uh, where it generate the uh, public parameter, which is E, uh, non singular curve, which is defined by the equation, which is that's how I say the elliptic curve. Uh, and G, uh, which is consists of the all of the point on E, and P and Q is the point number. Uh, uh, if you're going to be very big in the real situation, because if bigger, uh, and the hacker is not easily to hack uh, to attack the system. And A and B is just a digit, and also P is P is the order of Q and one of the G generator and which is the H is the core factor by it. And next is the Kajan key generation algorithm where it is given the pub public parameter P and randomly to this as the D arrow Z Q and get Q equal to DP where D is the private key uh, and Q, Q is the public key. Yeah, and next I will pass to my friend to uh, explain next. Okay, so for the ENC, which is a encryption algorithm, where it randomly chooses the K from the ZQ by using the public parameters PP, public key Q, and the plain text message. And so the results are R equals to KP and Y equals to HKQ. Um, if y is if y in n is an infinite value, the process will repeat and choose the k again. If not, it will continue to compute the k1, k2 from the KDF xy r, where KDF is a key derivation algorithm and xy is the axis. The xy is the x axis is the x 
is the x-axis coordinate of point y. The algorithm also computes c equals to a e and c k1 message and t equals to m a c k2 bracket c where a e and c is the uh, encryption algorithm of aes and m a c is a uh, m a c algorithm where m a c is the message authentication code the algorithm then returns to r c t as the ciphertext of message n at the end of the process then the next is the DEC, which is a decryption algorithm, and this algorithm provides with public parameter PP, private key D, and a ciphertext RCT, which is obtained from the encryption algorithm before this. Firstly, it computes the Y equals to HDR. If Y is an infinite value, it will reject the RCT. And if the Y is not an infinite value, it will compute K1, K2 from KDF, XY, and R. And next, it will compute the prime T equals to MAC, K2, bracket C. If T prime and T is not the same value, then it will reject the ciphertext. Otherwise, it will compute the message, which is MSG equals to a D E C K one bracket C, where A D E C is the decryption function of the symmetric key encryption scheme. Lastly, it returns M S G, which is message as the final message of the ciphertext. Then the second um, algorithm in this smart home authentication system is by using the group signature. Using group signatures in a blockchain-based system can make one client sign the transactions by allowing to allow the other group members to request the remote access or control anonymously. A group leader or the manager can trace whenever he wants. He can trace um, the member in his group in the smart home system, like identifying someone after he has been found for misbehaving after an investigation. Next, a group signature scheme also has a short signature length which may reduce the communication overhead. So this scheme is this scheme is suitable to be deployed in a lightweight remote user authentication system. In this smart home system, a short group a short group of signature schemes is used and both the size of group public key and group signature are fixed. And now I will pass to my group member to um, elaborate more on the group signature. Okay, so uh, totally, total, in total, we have six steps. The first step is a setup. Setup is uh, we need to give the initializations to all the things. Firstly, uh, with the security meter lambda. So firstly, uh, we need to produce a system public parameter in short call it PP and inside that we have Q, G1, G2, GT, E, P1, P2 and function H where G1 and G2 and G3, GT are cyclic groups of order Q of length lambda bits. The P is a function of G1 times G2 to until GT is a bilinear pairing for p1 is a generator of g1 while p2 is a generator of g2 respectively so um h is a function where zero we choose zero and one until two five six is a secure hash function it chooses randomness three randomness a uh, variable which is called dsu from z q to compute, cap, uh, we just call it capital D equals to D times P1, S equals to S times P2, and U equals to U times P1. It sets SK uh, from D, 
as as the group manager private key it chooses one number u from z as the tracing key for example maybe tk equals to u and gpk equals to capital the, the function of dsu as the group private key then finally from this setup what we can get is public parameter uh, private group managers private key tracing key and group public key then second step we're going to enroll the and the algorithm of enrollment is given system public parameters dp and the group managers private key sk firstly it chooses randomly a number x from z and computes z equals to b minus x1 times with s times with x uh, minus 1 which is 1 over 8 and then times with p1 next it computes tech i equals to h the secure has function x1 times z1 lastly it returns gsk equals to x1 z1 as a private key of group member and tech as it, its tag. Note that the group manager maintains tag in a member list where list equals to ID, GU, and tag. ID is the identification information of member GU. And then, third step, what we're going to do is group sign. The group sign is a system. First, we're going to use a system parameter PP. Is going is given to the group signing algorithm the private key gsk of a group member the group public key gpk and a message ms message msg firstly it chooses a k a number from z and computes c equals to k times p1 and c equals to x times z plus k and times with u and u equals to e times u times s lastly it computes the digest equals to secure hash function msg and then c equals to h c1 c2 and q and then digest and then w equals to kc plus x and lastly it returns the signature this is a signature c1 c2 uh, small c and w as the signature of message next step is going to do the group verify the group verify is a candidate message or signature pair message and the uh, is given by the group signature verification algorithm and the group key gpk it first compute with the formula q and then the formula is shown there okay and then digest equals to secure hash function message next it checks that c equals to h secure hash function c1 c2 q the function and digest to decide the validity of the message and the Thing. And then a uh, group trace. The signature sigma. Sigma. Yes, sigma. Sigma equals to C1, C2, C, and the bill is given by the tracing algorithm and the tracing key. TK equals to U. It first computes T tech equals to H X times Z equals to and then we just open it, it becomes C2 minus u times c1 and then search the list id gu tag to obtain the identity identity of the signer and then the last step is the revocation the revocation algorithm reveals the group members private keys component x times that into a revocation list we call it revel list to invoke the authority of a group member. Basically, only the group manager who knows the private key components of the group member can execute revocation effectively. And then that's all from me.
and going fast to make key. All right, um, I'll explain about the limitation of the smart home system. So basically, um, the smart home system is also have their cons where the first one, group manager of the smart home system is unprotected actually. So um, in this paper, the system does not propose the idea on how the group manager is protected from being attacked by other authenticity. Active attacks might happen such as message modification attacks, which are changing the data of the messages to produce an unauthorized attack. This will cause the group members to unable to access or control the home gateway which are connected to the home devices. Uh, the next one is um, the smart home system is actually highly cost where another circumstance uh, the cost to implement the smart home system is quite expensive and this is um, actually not affordable by most of the people nowadays. So beside from implementing, the maintenance cost of smart home systems is also highly priced due to the lack of experts in this system in the field. And also there are only some limited companies that provide smart home system service. So the last one will be a uh, smart home system is highly dependent on internet and electricity. This problem occurred because every protocol and systems are used based on the internet. If the internet is being cut off or being gone, then all the protocol can be applied. So the intruder can enter the smart home system without interruption. If electricity was cut, all the safety measurements or protocols may be out of function and therefore we predict that attackers can intrude the system easily. So I guess that's all from us. Do you have anything to add on? I guess no. So um, I think we'll end our presentation here. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.